Hello YouTube, um, this is Christian. Today I'm coming to you with a little review of an Alpaca Gear pouch. Um, this uh, particular pouch here on the table is a so-called Zip Pro pouch. Um, and um, I, I personally got it because I've, I found um, it to be an interesting concept. I overall uh, like the appearance and um, the, the pattern in the um, uh, Cordura uh, fabric or in the nylon fabric in, in this particular case and I also really like the way uh, they did the zippers um, overall um, the appearance of these sealed uh, or semi-sealed uh, zippers is, is something I like uh, a lot it just gives an uh, incredibly nice and clean look um, on, on the actual closed zipper. So I was initially quite quite intrigued by, by the looks of it and uh, conceptually also like the idea of being able to perhaps uh, put a pen or a small knife um, into my uh, everyday carry routine. Um, I got one of those in black and, and one of those in green. The green one um, had a little bit more use um, and is a little bit dirty that's why it's not uh, on the table at the moment. Um, Interesting product. Um, it, it is priced a little bit on, on the higher side, so um, uh, getting it here to New Zealand, uh, I think you'd be paying around, around about $75, $80 shipped um, to New Zealand. Uh, so that is a bit on, on the high side. Um, overall, um, I'm, I'm not quite sure what to make of the product. Um, it might just be me that it's not uh, perfectly uh, suited for. Um, maybe your usage uh, might be quite different and of course they do have a whole ecosystem of accessories and hangers and, and ways to organize and um, give you incentive to buy perhaps four or five of these in different colors to organize your gear. Um, but whether you want to buy into that kind of uh, marketing and, and hook on that train, hook up on that train, um, is of course entirely up to you. But um, just from a day-to-day -day usage perspective, um, I, I, I found it didn't quite fit um, up my particular way of, of doing things. And there's a number of reasons for that, um, and I, I'd like to get into that. So overall, um, on the outside you have one outside slide-in pocket for, for a bigger item. Um, you have that um, small zipper there at the front and you have two slide-in uh, pouches there at the back. Um, as far as uh, the zippers are concerned, I already talked about that one. I really like that. And one thing I absolutely love and uh, really uh, have to say, I'd like to see a lot of more uh, companies like Maxpedition um, doing this kind of high-vis interior, which really helps you to um, make out what's what's inside your pocket. It really adds a nice level of contrast um, and, and that's really an awesome feature. And, and also one of the reasons why I was uh, thinking about using that on a day-to-day -day basis. I, I really like uh, that orange high visibility kind of color. Um, so one of the issues I'm having, and let's just uh, put two pretend cards in here for, for the sake of uh, having your day-to-day perhaps credit cards or payment cards in there. Um, you put those in and then you have a little bit of space perhaps um, you could put another two cards or three cards or five cards in there. Um, but um, one downside is that if you're using that as a as a purse or using it as a wallet is uh, every time you want to access one of your cards you actually have to kind of pull them out and by comparison, if I use one of my wallets, um, then uh, quite quite clearly I like to uh, be able to just see and grab whatever I need. And, and that is a level of inconvenience that I didn't quite like. But um, perhaps if you pay by your phone a lot more and don't need your credit cards quite as much as I do, uh, that might, might be a non-issue for you. And so um, that's where my cards live and uh, I decided um, I'm may maybe it would be good to have a little bit of, of coin change in here for the parking meter or uh, something along these lines. And so that works quite nicely uh, because most of my wallets these days um, they don't accommodate for cash. Um, it's just hardly ever that these days um, cash comes into play when, when I do my day-to-day -day purchases, so that's not a thing. Um, as far as the back is concerned, um, I usually like to have a pen on me, 
and um, I considered using the other pouch there as perhaps a little knife pouch. And so initially I thought, um, yeah, all, all of that looks rather neat, nice and, and organized. These are usually the most minimal items um, I carry with me on a day-to-day -day ba basis. So I've got my cards, I've got a little bit of change and um, I always have a small pocket knife with me and I always like to have a small pen with me. Now, um, perhaps uh, a little right in the rain pad uh, would be good, but if I try to cram that in here it really gets uh, quite stuffed. And you know, Personally, I don't like that too much. So, once that is loaded though, because um, these two uh, outside pouches, they don't really provide a lot of volume. So the very moment you stuff um, your knife and your uh, your pen in there, um, the, you, you're really kind of starting to take away from the internal volume of this uh, particular pouch. And that is where, well, the cards are still quite accessible, but getting to the other side and it's starting to get quite fumbly here, getting to your small change, mostly because um, the outside, in this particular case, a Civivi Elementum, which isn't a big knife by any means, um, is, is kind of pressing hard against the interior and so you have to cram in there to, to get your um, coins out. Um, so yeah, w w one of the issues I'm really having with that, I like the idea, I like the format, but um, I, I think this particular pouch could have done away with uh, a little bit more internal volume. Whether you could do that by by widening um, and, and not flat stitching um, the fabric here and actually make it a bit wider, um, I, I would suggest that perhaps that would help that situation a little bit. But then I started uh, thinking about, okay, um, where will I actually put this? And um, so my, my day-to-day -day, uh, carriers, I, I do have a small uh, bag with me most most of the time. But my wallet, my pocket knife and my pen I personally prefer to, to have on person. And um, so the situation is it, it's all now in one place. And if I want to get to my pocket knife, um, then I first have to access uh, this particular pouch. Um, in, in most cases, if I need my knife, um, I'm, I'm holding on to something uh, or I need my left hand for holding on to the material and my right hand then is using the knife. Um, in this particular case, uh, this is just not as convenient for me as just having it in the side of my jeans or inside of my uh, trouser pockets, uh, where I just pull out my knife um, and, and don't have to handle anything in between to get to it and uh, put it away the same way. And, and that's one of the advantages of, of having a flipper knife or a thumb stud knife or um, a fast opening knife like that. It's just um, allowing you to uh, open it with one hand while your second hand is busy holding holding the workpiece or um, holding on to whatever you, you need, cut, uh, need to cut. So <clears throat> that is one thing where, where I thought, okay, look, uh, every time I want to get to my knife, do I really want to get out my, my wallet, then put my wallet away, and then, no, th this is just not, not, not working for me. And the other thing uh, is, uh, sometimes uh, I just have my wallet in my back pocket. Uh, so my front pockets, um, they're hardly ever big enough to to carry a hunk like that and, and it's not very comfortable. You're sitting in the car, getting in out of the car and you have something like that in your front pocket it kind of creates a certain amount of, of discomfort. And uh, so back pocket would be uh, a place to put it. Um, but uh, also that you, you then have a knife and, and a pen in there and um, that doesn't feel great. So <laughs> you, you probably wouldn't want to do that either. Um, if you um, forget about the knife and the pen, it becomes a different thing and uh, it becomes a bit more flexible. It is more like, like a regular wallet then. Um, but then again, you're kind of giving up these these features and you keep asking yourself, okay, why did I get this? And um, hmm, no, that, that doesn't quite work as well. It might be different. Um, I also uh, quite often wear um, cargo pens. Um, I've got uh, a whole set of uh, 511 Apex trousers, which I love. Uh, they have uh, internal uh, cargo pockets on this on the side. 
um, where you can uh, put two AR magazines in. They're so nice and big that they're actually quite perfect for my phone. And uh, in fact, uh, both my phone and my my wallet um, are actually designed uh, to actually fit that size, uh, that size, and, and actually sit in these cargo pans in the side um, pockets. But um, for for that, um, this particular uh, pouch is a little bit too short uh, because it, it just gets swallowed up and wants to sit sideways in the pocket and then I have to reach in and um, it's, it's a little bit troublesome to get out. Um, so um, yeah, um, that was another usage scenario I had in mind but that didn't work out quite quite as well. Um, so yeah, con considering um, perhaps if, you, if you're if you into that uh, alpaca gear um, merchandise uh, gear system then uh, this might be a perfect companion for you. Um, I found it a little bit hard to uh, justify the price tag and was a little bit disappointed in, in regards to um, the internal volume you get uh, once you're starting to load uh, the outside pockets. Overall in terms of quality and um, the stitching all of that seems to be uh, up on par. Um, I'm not entirely sure uh, just uh, looking at uh, the way it's been stitched down, down there. Um, whether that would actually get top quality stitching marks. Um, it looks all right, but it, it could have been done a little bit better, especially given the price tag. Um, so yeah, um, mixed feelings about this one. Um, interesting, a number of positives. I like the zippers. I like um, the internal high-vis um, of this particular pouch, um, but um, Internal volume is, is limited and it's a relatively high price point for such a small item. So um, yeah, that's my two cents on this particular alpaca gear pouch. Um, if you like uh, to, to point out to me, um, perhaps in the comments, whether there's uh, something I'm doing wrong or maybe there's uh, a usage I'm overlooking, hey, feel free to comment and uh, point me on the right track. All right, um, you all have a good day. Thank you. Bye bye.